So if you uh, reflect on where we were three years ago, where we are today, it's dramatically different, of course. You know, three years ago here in Northeast Ohio, we were facing um, a new virus to which there was no vaccine, no effective treatment, and no natural immunity from prior infection. And this virus is capable of causing serious illness and deaths in, in, in uh, many people. You know, fast forward uh, three years later, we have effective vaccines, effective treatments, and between vaccination and, and natural infection with the virus, we have terrific herd immunity. So what we're seeing right now in Northeast Ohio are cases in the community. Um, the new variants do appear to be more contagious and probably less serious. But with immunity from vaccines and immunity from prior infections, we're not seeing hospitalizations due to the virus, except very rarely. The people we see in the hospital currently are people who uh, you know, have chest pain or a car accident or, or uh, fall and break their hip and are incidentally positive. So in the past, we saw people seriously ill just from COVID you know, in the ICU on ventilators, and that is extremely rare now. We are seeing a lot of cases in the community. There are people who still get, you know, long COVID, uh, even though they don't end up in the hospital. So, you know, it's still desirable not to get COVID. But with the degree of herd immunity we have from the vaccines, from natural infection, COVID's really turned into a seasonal virus. And um, I think the future of COVID is probably to be here a long time. We probably will have to have vaccines in the future, but it's turning into another cold virus. Um, and maybe at this point, it might even be less serious than influenza. You know, influenza might make people sicker than the, the COVID-19 virus, you know, provided they have immunity. Um, so that's where you are now, uh, a new phase. Um, President Biden announced that he's just going to end the, the public emergency declaration I think what this means is uh, less, you know, free vaccines, less you know, free drugs. I think we'll probably enter a phase where the you know, medications to treat COVID, some of which are highly effective, um, will no longer be you know, free by the government, and uh, the vaccines may no longer be free, um, and less funding for some of the infrastructure around COVID. So regarding the vaccines, um, Originally, when the bivalent vaccine came out, it was only available for boosting. That if you hadn't been vaccinated against COVID, the primary two-shot series with the mRNA viruses was going to be the the, the original vaccine. Last week, it was announced that um, the bivalent vaccine now will be used both for the primary series and boost. And of course, um, I would encourage people who have not had the bivalent booster to get it. You know, people still get sick from COVID. They're not coming to the hospital and dying, but they're still pretty sick. And as I said, we're seeing long COVID. You know, people that have a mild case of COVID and then just feel kind of tired and out of sorts for months. So the vaccines are safe and protective. And I would encourage compliance with, you know, the latest recommendations is that, you know, getting the, the bivalent booster. Um, and if you've never been vaccinated, now you can get the new most recent vaccine, the so-called bivalent vaccine, as part of the primary series.